Hi and welcome to the Seek Sustainable Japan podcast. I'm your host, JJ Walsh, here in Hiroshima. And in this episode, I had the chance to go and visit another of the many, many Akiya abandoned houses renovations happening around Japan. And I talked with Lawrence and his wife and the builder at their open house、um, that they had at the end of about a seven month process from the time they bought the property,、uh, the house, and the land around to when. The builders were done and it was time to move in. So, a very fast paced process.、Um, and because they were having an open house and I don't live so far away, I really wanted to make my way over there and to see it in person. I love seeing all these renovation projects. It's such a feature of sustainability right now in Japan because they're reducing the amount of pollution and waste. Um, by reusing the structures, reusing as much as they can. Plus, you're creating higher value and better quality of life in these rural areas around Japan. So, you're keeping these smaller communities around Japan alive. And、uh, it definitely, you can tell from this talk with Lawrence, it definitely is like a dream come true for them. So, this is really a great. Opportunity for a lot of people right now, and it's definitely something that a lot of us are talking about and very interested in. I originally met Lawrence at the Minka Summit last year, at the first year in 2022,、uh, just briefly. And I said, Oh wow, you guys are from Iwakuni. Oh wow, we're from Hiroshima. So we both. Uh, traveled very far to get to that first conference, and we're actually living quite near each other. So, I hope you enjoy the episode and、uh, definitely check out Lawrence's、uh, channel to get more insights and details. And、uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or any other people who are doing great projects that you think I should get in touch with and hopefully have them on the show. Some of us. There you go. There、so、you we're go. just standing in front of his house,、uh, just about to finish renovations, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll be done.、Uh, well, we are, we're moving in Wednesday, so he's、oh, finishing、wow. up the last touches. But right here in the little guest house, it'll be done Saturday. But the main house, it'll be done Monday, Tuesday. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do a little、uh, tour around, and then、uh, we will show you inside. So first, we're going to start outside. And then we're going to go inside. Everything looks beautiful and amazing.、Uh, if you don't know already, can you introduce your channel if they want to watch the past、sure. episodes? Sure. <laughs> Appreciate that. So、uh, <laughs> it is Coco Lencho Japan. So C O C O L E N C H O Japan. Yeah. And、uh, so、awesome. it's been the renovation of our IKEA. Yeah. yeah. So good.、Um, so before we start, tell us a little bit why did you choose this area? This area. Well, Well, you know, I, I work at the military installation at MKS Iwakuni, so it's about a 45 minute drive from here. It's a little commute. Everyone asks me, it's like, why? You know, but I, I don't mind it.、Uh, but it,、uh, this area right here in particular is beautiful.、Uh, yeah. Miwa is just really pretty.、Uh, it, within 30, 40 minutes, you're up in the mountains, really nice area.、Um, and then just、uh, for convenience, you know, maybe in, you know, Working at the military installation and also being a retired military, I always have those benefits of、right. uh, being near a military installation. Plus, I mean, Iwakuni, you know, you got the Shin station, you got the airport, and you could quickly get out. So,、yeah. that's pretty much overall why.、Uh, This area is really、yep. easy to get to. I drove here in just about an hour from Hiroshima. So,、uh, I stopped along the way in a town called Otake. I saw a beautiful brand new museum. Yeah. yeah. Simose, that、Somebody、they just、asked. opened. Have you heard of that? I, I've heard of it, but I haven't been there yet. So it's a beautiful new museum, very colorful, movable places where they show the galleries and then great backdrop, lots of solar panels right on the coast and villas where you can stay. So it was really nice to stop and、uh, see that before I came up and, and saw Lawrence here. Yeah, we're in Yamaguchi <laughs> yeah. right now. But really, it's just on the border, Hiroshima and Yamaguchi,、mm. right now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just passed Otake, what I was talking about. That's Hiroshima. Yeah,、sure. It's like 
less than 30 minutes away, right? If that, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, should we walk up the hill? And yeah, absolutely. Show, yeah. show the property? Hopefully we don't lose signal there, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll go as far as we can. I'll turn the camera. When I was walking, uh, driving up the hill, just down here, there's a, a really cute little bridge and it had lightning bugs on yes, it. Yes, 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 yeah. And so you have, you said you have lightning bugs at the river just yeah, this all, month? Yeah, all along this river and then down the road, there's this really beautiful uh, big park and a lot of the, the tourists, that's where, or the local tourists, they come and see it there. But uh, the local people, they come to any of these rivers right here. And it's uh, known for the, the lightning bugs. Yeah, so it's wow. really nice, yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. And just above the hill here, we've got mountains, bamboo forests, trees on the hill, and I don't know if we're going to lose the Wi-Fi, but we've got rice paddies just up here, and it's really beautiful right now. Everything's really lush and green. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I just so I just mowed right here saw, not too long ago, but <laughs> when you saw this place, it must have looked really different. Right? Oh. Well, all these trees were covered with kuzu, those vines. Uh huh. It was, it was like a trampoline. Oh. Yeah, God. it was it was covered. Uh, prior, yeah. So this is all your land. Yes. You said upper garden, lower garden. Uh, yeah, I call it the upper garden, lower garden, and the mountain. And you said you just been mowing today, right? Yeah, weed whacking, or Aussies call it something different, whatever. <laughs> but <laughs> we call it weed whacking. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so that's uh, I uh. It takes me about a good full day or I do it in stages, you know, so. Uh, and when you saw the house, was the roof and the outside very similar to what it is now or did you change a lot on the outside? Pretty much the same as it is right now. The only thing we did on the outside is obviously we, so we added the, the pantry and the laundry room uh, and then some cosmetics, but overall the outside is the same. Yeah. And what are these trees that you have? So we have so we have biwa. Uh huh. Biwa is a kind of small citrus fruit. Yeah? Yes, yeah. So biwa, uh, peach, uh, ume, kaki, uh, kiwi, figs, ganeguri, the chestnuts uh, that uh, Miwa is very famous for. Uh, gosh, there's a couple other more trees, but that's uh, that's. This, those are the main ones right here, yeah. And of course, it didn't look this clear. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no. How long did it take you to clear this area? Uh, what, a year so far. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I, mean, I still have to, like, yesterday I was uh, mowing there, and there's still, like, some lots of rocks and stuff like that. So, right here, you see this the concrete. The old house used to be here before. So, okay. when they tore it down, they didn't take everything so I still need to get down there and uh, clear it out and make it nice and flat I want to make it like a little playground for my granddaughters oh, nice. yeah and so how this will be how old are they they'll turn five uh, and next week uh, they're gonna love all this space <laughs> they're coming Monday to visit us yeah oh, <laughs> so yeah yeah yeah. Are you planning to grow anything back here or just kind of keep it an open grassy area with trees? So what I, what I'm, th as I'm working out here, I'm thinking, what the heck am I going to do? Right. But so like these, whatever that foundation is right there, I'm mm -hmm. thinking of probably making like a raised, uh, raised uh, garden right there. Okay. Uh, so kind of like use that space. Uh, but here I like to keep it as flat as possible, but we still need to add a couple more trees or like any kind of berries, um, blueberries and stuff like that. So we want to add a couple more of those. Um, that's our hyrangea garden that kind of started. I think I have like uh, six or seven plants over there. Oh, nice. So I can visualize those being like that side over there. Along the grassy hill? Yep, yep, yep. You're going to so, add some more flowers. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's, that's the vision for that there. And uh, probably keep the upper side the way it is for now. One thing yeah. that um, Thomas did in Mukaishima, organic farmer mm -hmm. who took over a bunch of land, he uh, put in frisbee golf. Frisbee golf. Okay. So he's got yeah big space, huh. and that would be fun for kids if they yeah come. yeah. They just throw the yeah. the golf uh, frisbee to yeah. each station. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I have some horseshoes. You horseshoes, know? yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I got some from a, a friend that he moved back to the States and then I bought them because I, could, I thought about doing that. But that frisbee, that's pretty cool. I like that idea. Yeah. I'm and gonna... I thought it was a Japanese thing, but he said he used to play it as a kid in America. Oh, yeah. And the States is quite popular. Is yeah, 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 yeah. Never saw yeah, it before. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was fun. So, yeah, the, you just got the space. So there's so much you could do with it. Uh, we have a big yard in Hawaii, and we always just enjoy the big openness of it. Mm -hmm. And then as, you know, the kids grow up, or you have parties, or, you know, you just have that versatility because yeah. you have the space, yeah. right? Yeah. We had a big slip and slide. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Like big, what is it, like a big plastic sheet that you yeah. <laughs> slide down the hill? I don't know how safe it is because we used to end up in the valley well, quite a lot. Well, back then nothing was safe, but you know we all survived, right? We somehow yeah, survived, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Now let's talk about your roof tile because it looks in quite good condition. Is well, this this particular portion, well, the, the tile, yeah, it's, it's it's all original. The only damage that I saw, like water damage, was this this particular area right here. That's why you see is that white is a little bit different. Okay. But right here, there were some water damage. So, uh, of the the entire house, that's the only place I saw like leakage. Mm -hmm. The inside was perfectly fine, bone dry. So, but yeah, the tile was the original. You saw the original. And yeah. you've got a little bit of blue on the outside. Seat. Yeah. So that's like a missing. It, it must have had like a decorative board right there or something like that. You see, kind of see this kind of like a cut differently on the edges i think it just kind of came off we got to fix oh, that okay. yeah so, so the, it's not part of the design no 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 is the um so we didn't we didn't focus on the outside too much uh it's funny i just noticed that he fixed this this one was broken okay. <laughs> i just it's noticed yeah i just Good noticed now, that he fixed yeah. it but uh so, <laughs> so you know kayak sign you know, builder like i i think i told you is like He's done more things than I expected. Like like those rocks out there. He just told us, how are we going to put rocks out there? I was like, I didn't even expect that. And he did it. Like the gutters, he repaired those. Because when we, you know, did our contract and everything, it was inside. Everything was inside. And I kept telling my wife, "Is like, I know there's a lot of things outside. Let's get through the inside first, okay? But he's been doing a lot of that. And I've never, I haven't even asked him to do that. So, uh, um, but yeah, it's... Uh, outside is more to come so follow us on our channel yes, yes. Follow <laughs> so, Coco, Coco Lencho, Lencho Japan yeah Coco Lencho Japan you can see, yeah, see the so, progress month by month mo posting quite regularly I, I I I don't get to stick to a schedule but once a week every 10 days or so you know obviously I try to clean it up uh, but you reach a point where it's like okay it's it's good enough right um but also don't want to waste people's time right. you know with the and too like long. many houses around japan you've got extra tiles on yeah. the side what yeah. do you have any plans for the tiles some people use it as garden edging that's a good uh, idea some people yeah. break it up and use it kind of as a gravel, a gravel yeah right so no i haven't thought of that forever. yet yeah, I haven't so, thought of that yet, but there are uh, there are ways to reuse it. But yeah, most people, most houses just stack yeah. them on the side yeah. until later. Till later. To be continued. <laughs> There's a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I come back in twenty years, you'll be like, "So about that pile of tiles." You remember so. twenty years? Later? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, originally it was a carport, but because we 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 ex took some space for the pantry. Um. I mean, you could fit a car up to there, but what I'm gonna do is like my little barbecue area, you know, put like, you know, outside sink right here. We already have an outside a refrigerator that came with the house. Um, so yeah, that's kind of be the outside hangout area right here. So, yeah. What, the garage? The garage, yeah. It yeah, garage? yeah. That's yeah. called the garage, yeah. So what a big area you've got to work with, amazing. It's a lot of work. Yeah, a lot <laughs> yeah. of work. Down, down there we had the figs space. and everything, yeah, yeah two-car garage it's really well built too uh the only thing that which kind of surprised me because this entire place is very good bones yeah, good bones so if you're looking for an ikea i recommend find a place with some good bones uh it it just did not have electricity now it's been wired but and no doors so um soon we're gonna put doors 
Uh, I guess us Americans are a little spoiled. We want garage doors, right? <laughs> uh, two bedroom house and a guest house over here and a garage and gardens. And tell us what your price was that you bought it at. So we originally it was listed for 6 million yen, uh, but it was, uh, it still had, you know, typical IKEA, you know, still had the furniture, clothes, that type of stuff. It was not nearly of, not of garbage that you had to deal with. Yeah, right? not nearly as bad as Jaya with the to to Tokyo Lama, but um, uh, it, it, it had a lot of stuff. So, but the the real estate agent offered it for five million right there on the spot. So, the yen rate at the time a year ago, which is about the same right now, came out to like thirty six thousand, thirty six thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you have the closing fees and all that stuff, but yeah, so that was all that was for 36000 yeah. And then about how much have you spent on a renovation? <laughs> I hate to say this, but oh, so it's been about a couple hundred thousand dollars. Um, however, uh, most of the stuff that we did is um, uh, optional. You know, like the extensions, like the so laundry room it extension. Wasn't absolutely necessary. No, that's not not. A, but you know, we're at the point in our lives where we want um, something where we can grow into, uh, live here for a long time. And then the way I see it is, it's to me this is not a uh, financial investment. It's like kind of a quality of life investment. So let's say for three hundred thousand, you can't. Well, at least I can't get this in the States. In Hawaii, <laughs> good luck, right? With this amount of land as yeah, well? Yeah. No, and then right? and then our taxes are like yeah. $400, $500 a year or something like that. Right. So yeah. your house taxes are yeah, much, yeah, much, so much cheaper. Much better. But also, that I'm yeah. sorry, that okay. also included the renovation of, so all of that, right? It included the, the renovation of the guest house as well, uh, which includes adding a, a, a shower and a toilet. Uh, and then renovating the inside. So it's fully self-sufficient. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's not done yet. It's so. not quite done yet, but you can see the original Suchikabe, the, yep. uh, what do you call it, dirt walls. Dirt wall, yeah. And uh, when I went to John's house, a carpenter in Okayama, he was saying the black is actually iron coming out. Oh, from really? The dirt. Oh, I did not know that. And yeah. so, where you <clears throat> see the stripes, I thought it was somebody had wiped it. And he said that's where the wood beams are behind in the wall, mm. and they pull the iron into the wood mm. beam. So, mm. if there's no wood beam, then it comes out as black on the mm. on mm. the suchikabe. It's very cool. So you go ahead and pick in there. Yeah. Look at that. So are they going to do the walls? Yep. Uh, the Monday. Way? Monday, yeah. Monday, and it's all shikui, you know, the, the lime plaster. Uh-huh. Yeah. So the walls, and then we expose the beams, the little beams that are in here as well. <laughs> it's much smaller than the house, but, uh, and then on the far left, we have the toilet, and then in the middle, there's a, a little um, sink, sink in the bathroom uh -huh. to the right. Yeah. Are you doing a shower or a bath? It's a shower. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's already in there. Yeah. And it's nice with the exposed beams, even in the guest house, to have exposed beams yes, is really yeah, nice. Yeah. Are the, these original or did they put them in? All these original minus the, the where the doors were at. Uh -huh. yeah. And you can see the hole here where they mm -hmm. would have fit one uh, extra beam, right? Yeah, right here there used to be a little pillar right here. This architecture fitting the beams together instead of using nails is that still possible well like modern houses to an extent yeah <laughs> so like right there with uh and and the beams that are inside that we're going to see here in a minute uh he used the uh, like he said uh mukashi no yarikata the old way uh with the the beams uh sticks going through uh -huh. uh, but they were from the outside secured as well so it's kind of a combination of both and then when you see the floating loft all that is uh the same style too wow. which is really cool i've heard there's some things that uh because of earthquake new regulation I guess you have so. to change it but that's amazing they can it's, still do that wonderful the way i see it it has survived this far so yeah <laughs> i'm not too worried when about we it. had our house remodeled they said it was actually better because it moved in mm, an earthquake moved, yeah. so it was more flexible mm -hmm. it didn't fall down yeah let's look at your little garden the little again. garden Still, lots of work done but still a lot of more work to do obviously you know I, we've been putting it off 
I was passing the sea when you guys cleared this. It's yeah. One of the first videos, and I was like, oh, what a treasure! Oh, yeah. Because the stone lanterns and everything were there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we walked by, by because it was covered with bushes and trees and everything and yeah, they, they intentionally planted some bushes right there in the middle there's a huge bush right there in the middle like an azalea or something uh, but yeah once we exposed it like you said these huge rocks I mean that and, and I'm pretty sure they're quite expensive to to yes. haul and put, yeah. yes. like that. Japan, right? so right there where the porta potty is I don't know if you want to show that <laughs> <laughs> but right there is where I'm going to put a fire pit. Okay. So, you know, to be right here in the middle. And all the wood that was in the bottom, that's what we're going to use it for. But uh, that's why he's my companion. Because I might be drinking out here alone. So if you want to join me, come on over. <laughs> the only rule is you can't drink and drive. So you can stay at, in the, in the guest house. Yeah. That's, that's why that's, you got that's it. That's my only rule. Any plans for this shed? Yes. That's my man cave. Okay. And there's there's the stray cats over there <laughs> uh so yeah obviously i'm gonna paint it and fix the siding and everything and we added electricity to it um and i'm gonna paint inside and fix it up but that's kind of like my little tinkering place to do whatever uh and then the garage is for the bigger projects yeah so uh but yeah that's the plan for that we're just gonna put that aside for now but yeah, it'll, 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 it'll look nice too. I think yeah. so, yeah. yeah. It's great to have a structure yeah. that you can use the foundation of, right? You oh, it's, have it's, good bones. Right? Yeah, yeah, good bones. Now, so I was just talking to Kayaks. Now, the only problem is like the tiles on the top, you can kind of see the missing, like a little, mm -hmm. they, they slid off. So I need to get up there and slide them over. Well, you've got extra tiles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got plenty. And, and the other day, you know, last Saturday when it rained really, really, really hard, we were in here for the open house, uh, well, actually Sunday, and I came out while it was still raining, I, I touched in there, and it was just a little damp, but it wasn't, like, leaking, so, uh, but I need to fix that. Eyes, right? Do you see the spotlight in here? That, so, uh, it was a... The lights in? Yeah, it was a recommendation from a fellow YouTuber there, uh, this, but yeah, so we... Uh, put these in and he was just saying a minute ago that yesterday they walked they were working till 8 p.m so he turned on the lights and he said look really pretty i have not seen it yet so he beat me to it <laughs> yeah absolutely what a great big door big ginkan door that looks brand new yeah i mean it, I, again I, I i don't want to sound the wrong way but everything everything the inside is pretty much brand new right so even from the foundation the concrete slab to prevent um you know rotting and, and termites and everything in the future the way i saw it is like if you're going to do such an extensive renovation the, i mean the foundation is the most important right it's like buying a luxury car and putting cheap tires on it right so yeah why would so you, why would you do that? yeah so there are double pane windows and the door and you name it all the electricity all the electrical is rewired and everything so but we started with really good bones so that's uh that's a huge that's huge advantage. yeah that's huge all right let's go come on in it. well on and off we started in november the, mm -hmm. the construction the, the demolition of the walls and stuff uh, but he had uh there's like peers like a month that he had one of his uh, senior carpenters that became ill and um so he was juggling but we kept telling him don't worry about it, don't worry about it. we're in a hurry so um yeah. So it took about seven months since seven, you started eight months, posting, yeah. right? Yeah. So you kept the front angawa, the front hallway, yeah. which lets in a lot of nice light, Beautiful, but yeah. still you have the privacy with the yeah. sliding doors, right? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> this is the original door from the house. Nice. Yeah. But this is, in the far corner is where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a uh, desk. That's going to okay. be this. This is like your office. This is my little office, yeah, when I'm looking out here in the Japanese garden. And then... Uh, some tatami. <coughs> Decided to keep some tatami and... I love... Yeah, a lot of people don't like tatami. I love tatami. But, you know, to, to a degree, right? But this like this tatami is not actually the typical. It's actually wa washi, right? Um, washi, is, Japanese paper? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's not the straw no. material you usually have. And your it's, Rama is the, original, right? The Rama is original. It's yeah. so beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. That's when 
when we were planning and talking, you know, I, 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 I told him, I want, I want to see that. I want to see beams. But, of course, a modern, comfortable feel, you know. So, uh, so this is original. Oh, this is original right here, this beautiful Mount Fuji. Oh, um, yeah, and this one slides open. And these are Yuki Me, you know, the Yuki Me. Yeah, yeah, so you can yeah. see the garden. Yeah, for, or for folks that, yeah, or you, you can see the moon go the other way. Right? <laughs> yeah, but all these were refurbished. So, this is not, it's not paper, it's actually, it's actually plastic. More hard wearing. Yeah, but it looks like. It looks like paper. That's, I yeah. mean, I love the natural yeah. materials, but I have cats and they break through the paper so yes. fast. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Kids, poke holes Kids, to them. Yeah. yeah, so. And if it was a spring or autumn day, you could just open up the yeah. doors and. Do you have screens on the doors? Yes, yeah. Yeah. And now, you kept, kept this uh, tokunoma, Japanese yeah, yep. traditional little enko, where mm -hmm. you usually just keep. A hanging scroll or some ikebana or flowers or something right yeah so we we found in the shed <laughs> that shed over there in the very very back there was this big wooden case and i was wondering what is that I opened it up and there was this white sheet and then i untied it it was a koto a koto yes uh, Japanese Jap Jap yeah so beautiful so i think we might put it right there I don't know if that's weird or not, but we gotta put it somewhere. But yeah. And you you had them do is this hand done the plastering? Yes. Yeah. All this chiku. Yeah. Yeah. You know, behind this, there's the tsuchikabe, um, the the earth. That's the, the lime plaster, lime plaster, right? Yep. And the lighting? Did you have the lighting put in? Yes. Yeah. So all the lighting. It, all the electrical has been redone as well. And I like nice. this lamp, it's really pretty. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I think we need Tori somewhere. Yeah, nothing nothing fancy. And then your builder style of finishing at yes. the ends with the extra wooden pieces. Yes. <laughs> is really interesting. So this is the loft. And um, when when we went to his house, because that's his house office is there. And he has a loft and he was showing us and immediately, you know, talk, again, talking about a lot of the stuff that we did here just because we wanted it. Um, we saw his loft and immediately was like, we want a loft. <laughs> it For the, some more natural light. Yeah, loft. but it's really cool. Oh, uh, so right there, there's a little gate right there. It's kind of hard to see. So it doesn't have the best entrance when you go up there to the upper level, you see. Well, we added that little gate right there. Is that a skylight in the top? Or? No, it's just no. track lighting. Okay. Track lighting, yeah. yeah. Is there a window up there? Or? No. It, it'll no, be dark. No. So yeah, that's yeah. actually better for storage, right? Yeah. Yes. Look at these big windows back here, sliding with glass windows. So, the, yeah. So this is our only bedroom. There's only one bedroom here. Okay. And then upstairs, there used to be two bedrooms, but we tore it down and made it into a craft room for my wife. Um, but this is the only bedroom originally that it came up to here in the tatami room. But see, you can see right here where this was cut off right here. Oh, I see, yeah. I see, so, okay. So, but we made it a little bit bigger. You know, us Americans, we like our king size beds, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you're downstairs, so it's, as you get older, you don't have to deal with stairs. Exactly. You're, you're, you're thinking, thinking <laughs> The bathroom right there. That's it. <laughs> it's so... Yeah. Earlier, we had a lot of uh, Japanese folks coming here, and I was trying to explain to them my broken Japanese while Choke was outside. Is uh, we try to think of things that um, like incorporate some American ideas, but keep Japanese ideas as well. Like, I, like you know, like we have a laundry room. You know, here in Japan, normally your laundry room or laundry machine is in the toilet. In the, oh, I mean, in the, the sink, the bathroom, yeah. right? And then the hanging is very inconvenient, and so on. So. Um, uh, I just tried to think of different different things that could make it more convenient. Like we have double sinks, and they, they, all Japanese were asking us why double sinks. Like, well, once you use double sinks in this, <laughs> but then I was telling us like like J Japanese toilets. Once you use a Japanese toilet, you don't want to 
you, you don't want to use the cold ones, right? So, um, so we tried to blend both. So uh, I think it was a good, it was a good blend. It's funny about the double sinks. I never would have thought to put double sinks, but now you say it, I'm thinking, I would like my own sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. As a married couple, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you got this beautiful view of the garden from here. Yeah. It's so nice. Gorgeous, yeah. So real yeah. Japanese room, tatami, and the borrowed view from the garden. Yeah. What a beautiful spot. Yeah. Was there any one thing when you saw the house that you're like, oh, I want this house? Like something was the trigger? You know, actually, so we saw it about a year ago today on our own. And then we saw it and quite frankly, it was overwhelming, right? The, the stuff that was remaining here, all the weeds, everything. It was overwhelming and not uh, knowing the builder or where to start, uh, we, we decided to pass and keep on looking. And then we went to a local cafe here in town um, and we're talking to the owner and it's like, oh, what are y'all doing here in town? And we told her, well, we're kind of looking for a house. And she's like, well, I know a guy. <laughs> so then she introduced us to Kayak-san. And then we looked at another house. And that one was immediate no. Uh, it was in bad condition. It was right next to a solar panel place. Anyways, so then we asked him, was like, can you come and look at the house that we already said no to last week? And then, uh, sure. So we, we, uh, he came and then... So then I gave him my vision. I was like, could you do this? Basically, I want an all open um, type of concept. And then, so yeah, I can do it. I can do it. And then from there, I was like, okay, uh, let's do it. You know, uh, then I started really getting excited. So I wish I could tell you, oh, as soon as I fell, I saw it, I fell in love. But as time went by, I was like, wow, wow. Because like all these beams that you see there, all that was covered, you know, with the false ceilings and all that, all that was covered. Um, but as, as, as they started to become exposed, and I just like, wow, I was getting more and more excited. <laughs> and then yeah. that's a really good point, right? Once you found someone you knew you mm -hmm. could work with to yeah. get to where you wanted to yeah. be for the house, that was a game changer. Yeah. Right? So that's why, you know, this, what we're doing right now, and the open house, this open house is for him, because one, he's done a, a phenomenal job. And then some people have commented, and I'm not sure if it's true, but uh, that some Japanese carpenters or maybe uh, larger companies, they don't want to deviate from what I've been told. I don't know. He, we have called at eight o'clock at night because I had this bright idea. Can you do this? It's like, yeah, I can do it. <laughs> you know, so it's, that's why it's been really, really easy working with them. Yeah. So very um, flexible. Very, very, very yeah, flexible. Guys. Yeah, very flexible. Yeah. Uh, should yeah. we go talk to them? Sure, absolutely. Come on over. And oh, by the way, for everyone, this is Kayak San uh, from Asahi and Niwa. No. <laughs> and this is from Kaiken Corporation, who are the ones that provide oh. provide all the all the material and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful wood. Uh, he was saying the wood comes from Kyushu. Yes. Right? Yep, and then yep. the cabinetry here was made in Hiroshima. In Hiroshima, yeah. Yep. Um, but the wood did come from, from the, Kyushu. Yeah, yeah. So it's wonderful to have Japanese wood. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because the, the not to speak ill of that company, great product, but they use pressed wood. And they were like, no, nah, it's like that. So, so he worked with them as like he was adamant. It's like my customers want this my this wood, and wow. they, so they came to an agreement. Yeah. And so all the flooring and everything is yeah. is all the cedar, thing. all the wow, cedar. Yeah. Cedar. And you feel the um the earrings, I guess they're called. Yeah, but it, it, they. You can feel yeah, it. Feel yeah. Really, yeah. One is mechanically dried. Okay. So, which one is mechanically dried? Okay, the, this one is the mechanically Kiru dried. Kiru oh, dry wood. Yay. So the smell is different? Yeah. Okay. Completely different. Uh -huh. Touch. Ooh. And touch. Okay. And that's naturally dried. Naturally dried. Uh -huh. Which is what they use here, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Totally different. Yeah. The smell and the feel. Mm -hmm. 
amazing. That's so that's this why is this. They chose uh -huh. that yes, type. yes, exactly. So mechanically dried, it's weak for the earthquake. It's easier to fall down because it's, I guess, get too dry, something. And kotsudato, what do you Because they don't put any heat on it, so it goes with that, you know, those yeah. shake. Let's see. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So now I have you on the mic. So <laughs> how do you feel about that? Oh. Are you happy with yeah. it? Yeah. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> I love it. Wonderful. <laughs> what did you think initially? When, when you first saw the house and oh. then now? Oh, the, when we bought the house, that was the, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> but Hayak san did the magic, <laughs> and he did great job. Yeah. So does he do many projects like this every year? こういうこんな感じのリフォームはいっぱいありますかって。いっぱいないですね。少ないですけど、はい。もうここまでリフォームしたのは初めてです。it's first time on this scale. On this scale uh, for such hi. a big house. Yeah. Hi. And this house is not so old, right? 1975, so about 50 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. um, does he usually work on older houses or about this same period? いつもあのリフォームするときってこのくらいの古さのお家が多いんですかってそれともあの決まってますそうそうそうだまあ大体40年50年経ってますねやっぱり20年ぐらいの方はあんまりリフォームされないんででで、he、he、that、normally、that's about、like、this age。it's、they don't normally do、like、20 years old、sometimes。まだやったことないですね。No。あ、一軒だけあるけどここ前のリノベーションではない。He did one house over 100 years old, but it wasn't this much scale of the renovation. I see. そこは昔あの茅葺き、茅葺き屋根って、茅葺き屋根をちょっとリノベーションしました。茅葺き屋根だったのをうちの自分の父親が大工だって。それをカーナにやり替えたんです。それをまた後、後自分が行ってリノベーション。それも多分100年ぐらい経ったと思う。So he he did the roof of the over 100 years old, change roof the what's the color kayabuki is the thatch. Thatch. The thatch house. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, that they he changed it to the like uh, our house tile. And then after that, he went for the re smaller renovation. So a lot of the style he uses is fitting the pieces together, the traditional Japanese style, not using the bolt. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So is that the most difficult part, fitting the pieces together? Ano, ich, ichiban, kon, renovation shiteku no de, ichiban muzukashii toko te nan desu ka? Muzukashii toko desu ka?難しいとこないんですけどね。リノベーション。リノベーションすると反対に楽しいです。ああ。はい。He uh, but he's done everything that we asked him to do, so yeah. That's wonderful. But but also, again, let me get out of here. But <laughs> uh, when they spent all day installing these beams, I asked him, you know, you know, how was it? He said well, it was difficult because it came from from bottom to top. Normally, it comes from top to bottom when we build a house, right? I see. I see. Yeah, so that that was the hard part. How many people does it take to lift that kind of beam? It's a big one, right? Na, 
。で、あの最後にちょっとだけご主人に手伝っていただきます。<笑> for people, for little, plus little helper. <笑> So he helped a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So I recorded it in this. Like, if you watch the video, it's amazing. It's like, like just getting these to fit, you know, they're off by, say, you know, a couple millimeters. So they have to take it back out, shave it up, try to put it in again. No, too tight. And so on, so on, until they finally got it in there. So yeah, it took them all day between four of them. Yeah, I was recording all day, and at one point they, they, they looked like they were struggling pretty hard. So this is a new beam, right? Yes. Where does the new beams come from? Does it come from an, another house that doesn't need it, or is it new wood? They were new wood. Wow. Yeah, yeah so he had them in the shop, and he shaved, shaved off these two. Right? He had to shave, shave off all the parts. That's why it's a different color. Yes. Yeah. New, right? yeah. Yeah. I asked him before how long do you think it was going to last? And he said at least 200 years. 200 years? Yeah, I said, okay, I'll be dead by then. Uh, well, you can pass it on. Pass it on to your grandkids. Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> 200. Which is so unique because the idea in modern Japan is a house can only last 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, right? So for him to say another 100 years, that's so, it just warms my heart. It's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now it, it, it's been already 50 years, but since he had all those beans and stuff, so it's gonna get much more longer. So it's even stronger. Than yes, yes, yes. So the original build was not too bad. No, no. it was a good foundation. Yes, yeah, yeah. but now yeah. improved. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Shall we go upstairs? Upstairs. Yes. Come on, and this is, so this is, uh, there'll be Choco's craft room, you probably heard that, right? Uh, several times. And look at your laundry space. Oh, yes, you want to look at I that? I want to see the laundry space first. This is the bathroom and laundry space? Yeah, so, you know, typical Japanese, uh, there was, double, there double was, sink. yeah, there was one sink and the washer and dryer. Um, we we really kind of wanted two sinks, <laughs> yeah. And then then we did an extension. So he did this extension here with a uh, gas because I don't know about you, but we have an electric uh, wa dryer and they just don't do the job, right? So um, but then a little folding table and a little sink right there for washing when I'm come from outside what nice a and dirty. Great, like a what is it called mudroom 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 yep yep and then a new modern bath unit yes right? yeah from nice, Toto nice Toto. good size though yeah yeah so I mean you know the thing about an natural Ikea, light which is nice. natural light yeah I mean you have to work with what you have you know yes. um so yeah and these stairs here, they're still, he's still working on these here. And then your toilet. Look at that sink, it's so pretty. He got that off Amazon, right? Yeah. That's a nice idea. And then, was it just a bowl? And then you repurposed it? No, no, it's, it's just. It a, was a sink. Yeah, it was a sink, yeah. This, uh, just found it on Amazon. And yeah. you got a modern, super fancy Japanese toilet? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't even try, okay? <laughs> I, you know, like That's this. That's what everybody will rave about when they come to your house. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we try to keep, you know, like, you know, this 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 exposed wood and you still have the cracks and the where the original joint uh, wood would go in. We try to keep that, but of course, you know, insulation and air conditioning, you know, we want to be comfortable. Um, so, uh, but I think and I think one of the reasons why a lot of Japanese, I think this is my own official opinion, is that they don't like the older houses because they probably went to the where the house that they grew up in, or they went to visit grandpa and grandma. And remember how cold and uncomfortable and everything they they are or were. Um, 
maybe with this to kind of see it's like wait a minute you can turn into a nice you know why not so yeah. so this is your loft <laughs> yeah loft slash uh, storage well i mean for kids just imagine it's like a little playground for them oh how fun yeah. And if you have too many guests, you could just put sleeping bags up there. And yeah. That's where, you know, like crash. the girls, our, our granddaughters, that's where they're going to sleep when they come next week. I love it. And look <laughs> at those beams are amazing. Right? And all this is covered. Oh, what a waste. So when originally there was a little hallway here, two, one bedroom, another bedroom, a closet, and a closet. Wow, they really cut it up. Yeah, stores. yeah, typical Japanese, right? So we again we're empty nesters. She likes to do crafts and stuff. So um, it's like, hey, let's turn this into a craft room for you. So we that closet, you know, obviously a half bath, and then she's gonna have like an L-shaped sewing machine right here, and you see the outlet right on the floor for a craft table that kayako san wow. is going to make for us. How she, she she makes little bags and sewing and then she gives it away. I was like, you should try to sell this. And look mm. at these big windows. They're yeah. beautiful. Yeah. You've got really nice views all the way around. Yeah. You're not looking into anybody's house. It's very private, very natural. Yes. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, I said all this was... The only indication I had of these beams right here is that there was a damaged a tile I guess on in the in the in the closet and I peeked in there with my cell phone and I could see I could see this beam and I, I, I knew it was like oh this is gonna be so gorgeous and I tried to explain it to her it's like I saw this huge beam and she's like I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> Did you find any hornet's nest? Yes. Right here. There's, there's there and in there, there, in the corner right there, there's a huge one like this big. They say that's uh, good luck to find it. What if you tear them down? If you will, you have to take it down when you move in. Oh, okay. It's, like, it's keeping the good spirits in the house uh, when okay. nobody's living there. It's uh, what we were told. Okay. We okay. have one in our house. Oh, there are, in here, there are at least three. Oh my god. Yeah. And then in the little guest house as well. This is nice nice little area for her. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. You can even see the garden from up here. Yeah. Yeah. Well congratulations you've got yeah. guys. What a great house. Everything looks amazing. Well done, well done. Come on. Come on, Thanks, on. Bye. Thanks for joining everyone. Thank you. Appreciate and, uh, it. Remember, you can do it yourself. You know, there's a lot of these properties around Japan. Uh, it might cost a bit if you want your dream house. Have you gotten your dream house? Yes, yes. I think so. Do you? <laughs> so then you have your dream house, right? And um, so if you have any questions or comments, you want to see the progress more, make sure to check out his uh, YouTube channel. You can see some older versions and see more of the progress as it's happening in the future too, yes, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fun because, you know, you get to meet a lot of people and everything that, that otherwise you wouldn't. So Any I final think. bit of advice for people who are thinking about I would renovating an old house? So, yeah, so find a place with um, good bones. Uh, and quite frankly, I did not, I mean, he kind of inspected it, but I did not ask him to do a professional inspection. I just went with my gut. Mm -hmm. um, and then we really lucked out that everything was fine, but I would have, um, I should have done a, a better inspection, but we, we got lucky that, uh, that at the end of the day, there was no leaks and it was not leaning or anything like that. So no termite damage, nothing like that. But so get an inspection. Yeah. Because I dodged the bullet there. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> and then when you do the inspection too, as part of your contract before you buy the land in the house, you usually have to be shown where the avalanche areas mm -hmm. are, any dangerous runner area, and where your line is, where yes. your property line is. So it's all really useful. Yeah. Any words of advice, Choco? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, well, we'll leave it there. Thanks, everyone, for joining. We had some people enjoying it. And uh, if you missed it, hopefully you're watching on the replay. 
just write your comments and questions below and we'll make sure and uh, get back to you. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye. Thank Bye. you.